Are you looking to play Minecraft with your friends? Well, follow along with this video and I'm going to show you how to set up a Minecraft server for 1.20 and upward. This works for all different mod packs, versions, and you can get playing with your friends as quickly as possible with no lag. This is the best way to get started with how to make a Minecraft 1.20 server. So the first step is to go down below to the link in the description which is going to take you over to our website. From here, you can scroll down and you're going to see this little bit of text where it's going to say how to make a Minecraft 1.20 server. This is the article version of this video. Then you will see a big green button that says click here to get started. So you just want to click that green button. When you're on this screen, what you want to do is you want to go across to the top and click get started, the big green button here. This is going to bring you over to this specific page, which you have lots of different options on here with the different RAM types for your server. So at this point, you need to consider how many people are going to be joining your server. If you're just a couple of players, just maybe three or four friends then two gigabytes of ram is absolutely plenty for you so you can just get started with this if you've got say a hundred people wanting to join your server then i'd recommend scrolling down and looking at the x series so really you have to consider how many people are going to be playing on your server and that's the amount of ram you want to choose within the link in our video description we have included there'll be a chart on this page which you can see how many players we'd recommend to how much ram so you can get a good idea of what we'd recommend when you start your server so come back across to here and choose the ram that that's suitable for you. We're going to go for the X series for this video. So we're going to click order now. Then you're going to be able to configure your server. So you can choose to be billed monthly or quarterly. So we're going to choose monthly for this video. Obviously, this is expensive. But if you follow along with this video, you will get a huge discount on your server. So we're going to fill in a username. So we're going to go with Minecraft Iron, just like that. You can then choose a subdomain. So this just means that you can give people a subdomain rather than like a really nasty long IP address. So I'd recommend doing this so we're going to call this minecraft iron.apex.co then we're going to choose a server location so i'd recommend choosing the one that's closest to you so i'm going to choose london as we're in the uk my server version button isn't working here but you can leave that then you're going to click continue then all you need to do is click check out fill in your information and just like that you will now have your own minecraft server so i'm going to show you what to do once you've completed this and you're on to the next steps so apex hosting will then send you an email with your control panel panel login information as you can see i am now on that control panel here so just log in with the credentials that they give you it'll be using the username that you previously used along with a randomly generated password which you can then reset and set up yourself so as we can see we are on our server here we can see our dashboard from here you can do lots of things like change the game file so you can choose a different version if you'd like you can rename the game file then you've got some more advanced settings and permissions now what's nice about doing your server with apex is you have unlimited up time so it's up all the time you're never going to have any lag and it's really really easy to use any problems you have as well they're always happy to fix and come to your rescue so really really good and we certainly recommend them you can then go across and on the left you've got lots of different options here so you can configure server backups so as you can see here you can create backups for your server so you're never left without any data so your server is never going to be lost so now i'll show you what to do once you have set up your server you configured your settings and you're ready to start playing with some friends so go back to your home page of the control panel and then you'll see this line here which says ip address and port so here all you want to do is you'll have an ip address here so all you want to do is copy that so you click this button here that's going to copy it to your clipboard you then want to go ahead and send this to your friends get them logged in and then you want to log into the server yourself so let's hop into minecraft so once you're in minecraft you want to go to the multiplayer screen and then click add server in the bottom here then you want to give your server a name it doesn't matter what it is i'm going to call this apex server just so we know what it is and then under server address you just want to hold down control on your keyboard and click v that's going to paste in the ip address as long as you haven't copied anything else since copying your ip address that will paste in so i'm going to paste mine in now and just like that we can see that our server has been detected we've got an ultra low ping which is absolutely fantastic so we're going to go ahead and join our server just like this and i believe this is already already created world yes it is so as you can see now we are now in our apex minecraft server and that is how you set up a server to play with with your friends.